kidnapped inside of a Shia's car right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Why are you ringing me for? I went to the beach but to get babe, away from you. But babe, babe, I'm sorry. I miss you so much though. So I noticed that you guys are wearing black. What's the significance behind this? Uh, a different type of ceremony taking place right now. Yeah, well guess what? I don't miss you. Ah, oh, babe, you're so mean to me. Come on. Yeah, so what, what is it that you're mourning? What are you mourning? Do you guys pray differently? Do you, like, for example, what I mean by that is, like, do you pray different units of prayer? Like, is Dohar still four fard? I want to I hear this from you. Do you guys hate the mother of believers? These kids, mashallah. They're, 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 they're little volunteers, mashallah. When you're saying, when you're cursing people who are Shia and so on, you're cursing these little kids too. Yeah. Why is it that you guys put stones when you're praying from, uh, for, uh, uh, praying? Yeah, because I hear that you guys put a stone, or is it a stone, is it clay? Tell us more about that. You know, sometimes the, what people have said is that you guys praise them to the level of the prophet. What is your comment about this? What is your clarification about this or whatever you have to say? So, so is there anything that's differently said in the prayer? Is it, is it in your uh, religious beliefs or school of thought that allows you for tattoos? Tell us more about that. Okay. Got some dominoes over here. Got some dominoes, okay. See, look at these kids. Kids are here helping out. Kids are here helping out, man. They're just doing the thing. So uh, what I've been told is that you guys worship your imams, meaning the 12 imams or something of that nature. Can you like spread some light about that? <laughs> You have a YouTube channel? Yes. I, yeah, but he doesn't. I do. You have a YouTube channel? Yes. What's your YouTube channel right now? This is your shout out. Eternal Gaming. What's the shout out? What is Eternal it? Eternal Gaming. Eternal Gaming. Are oh, you a gamer? Eternal underscore. What game do you play? Fortnite? I haven't posted anything. I did, no I did notice that you were praying with your arms down. Does that come from like a specific sunnah that you follow or like for what exactly? Cheese pizza? You like cheese pizza? Yeah. Oh, those are some nice eyes you have, bro. Mm -hmm. Mashallah. I've seen it also where people get like the knives and do that. I noticed that you guys were just doing the tapping against the chest, yes. right? Very calmly, very calmly doing this. One, what's the significance of the tapping? And two, why are people doing the blades and stuff like that? If you could shed some light on that, please. <laughs> Ya Hassan Ya Hussein. What's the what's the reasoning behind the Ya part in calling uh, out to them or asking? Because it comes off like you're asking them for strength or something. Tell tell us more about this or you know maybe way of life SQ, keeping it a hundred. All right, Bismillah. Uh, I don't know. You know my vlog game really sucks just letting you know I don't feel like I do justice to the vlog game uh, I record them but then I'm kind of shy about putting them up because I'm like who really wants to watch this anyways uh, the name of this video is going to be called um, I went to a Shia Majlis I went to a Shia Majlis and this is what I've learned so uh, I had some hijama clients today and my family went to the beach in Connecticut alhamdulillah and I couldn't go because I had hijama clients and um, they were supposed to come they said they had they canceled for whatever reason they said can we reschedule for later on today i'm like all right whatever my boy kevin from american islamic radio hits me and be like hey what you doing i'm just like chilling he's like oh i'm going to this uh you know majlis thing later on i'm like oh yeah that's what's up you know like i, I want to you know because even in the comment section right now you haven't even gotten through the video and you're already like you know hating on people or not seeing eye to eye or using what you know about a person or what their beliefs are and i honestly find myself to be extremely extremely let me lower down the temperature of the fan i find myself extremely ignorant about you know ahlul bayt and all that stuff i find myself ignorant you know and uh you know i i think that there's a lot of misconceptions about you know uh shias hate uh the companions you know, uh, they hate the mother believers. They they curse the mother believers. I hear these things, but I also hear from Shias like, yo, that's not true. That's a different type of Shia or sect that we don't even like uh, deal with or acknowledge. So I want to get in their minds a little bit and see what they're all about. So I'm going to the Majlis and I've never been to it before. And uh, I, I, I'm assuming a lot of you haven't been to it. You probably witnessed it, but you haven't been to it, if that makes sense. So I thought, you know what, Kev, I'm going to come through. So I canceled on my hijama person. I'm like, listen, you're not rescheduling with me, man. My, my time is valuable, bro. You can't be, you can't be canceling on me like that bro 
that messes with me, you know what I mean? Because I could have been out with my family to the beach, but Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm doing this instead. Take a look at the traffic that I'm stuck in right now, that car in front of me. Here, yeah, take a look. That's my car seats for my children in the back anyways. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm here right now. Let me get, I, I was comfortable. How was I holding it before? I can't remember how I was holding it. Maybe I'm just holding it like this. You see, this is why I don't vlog, because you know it's like a whole bunch of stuff. So, anyways, I'm going to the Majlis inshallah, and I'm gonna let you guys know. Hold on. I'm gonna let you guys know um what do you think? What do you feel? Look at this person, he's trying to sneak in. You know what I'ma do? I'm gonna give him way. Because that's the Muslim way of doing things, bro. Look, he wants to come in. Come on, don't you see he got greedy. I gave him a spot. I gave him a spot. Don't get greedy, bro. Don't get greedy, just take the spot. Look, I'm giving you the spot, spot of love. I'm giving it to you. Take it. Thank you, Silverado. Thank you, Silverado. Anyways, guys, so um, going to the majlis, I'm going to meet with my boy, Kevin. Uh, may Allah bless him. Good brother. And uh, I, I want to see firsthand what it's all about. You know, I'm going to the majlis and I want to learn. I want to learn. You know, I don't want to have this negative narrative or this narrative from people or what they've heard. I, I want to, you know, make my own narrative, make my own decisions. You know what I mean? And hopefully you guys appreciate that. And along the way, I'm going to take you guys for a ride. Don't expect any like... You know what I mean? Like Casey Neistat level vlog styles where I'm just walking around and B-rolled and all that, man. I'm just not gonna edit anything. I'm just gonna piece it all together. Um, and yeah, do that. You know what I mean? No, I'm not, I'm not. It's not that I'm not creative. It's just like, what would I rather do, right? You know, spend hours, come on, come on, exposure. Uh, spend hours uh, on uh, editing a video, making it really hipster and cool, or just show you and just talk about what's really important about it and take you on my journey with me, inshallah. Uh, but listen, if you're trying to start a YouTube channel, here's a little advice for you. And you need a camera, right? First and foremost, your, um, your camera uh, for your phone is good enough. You know, don't ever feel inferior. The problem is that you feel inferior that you don't have something nice. You think you need this thing device, you know what I mean? Uh, you just feel uh, inferior. That's going to make you a YouTuber. No, what makes you a YouTuber is good content and it's uh, centered around your audience. Anyways, I have no idea what I was talking about. Okay, if you're looking for a camera to buy and you need like one of these, let me show you, like these types of cameras. You know what I mean? Can you see like this type of camera where it flips up? And uh, one of a very popular model is the Canon G7X Mark something, right? Let me tell you something right now. If you're looking to get one, please only get a Canon G7X Mark II. I have the Mark III and it is trash. It is trash. Be oh, it does 4K video and all that? Not really. The device overheats and it doesn't even allow you to record for more than 10 minutes, right? And then you gotta keep shutting it off, so it's not that good. The quality is eh. It's the same as Mark II in my opinion, right? I would say the Mark II is a little more superior in the blurring and catching the auto feature, right? So sometimes I'm getting blurred and it's hard to like track me when I'm moving, but the Mark II was fantastic, alhamdulillah. So that's just a little advice from your brother. I mean, I'll put a link. Uh, maybe no, I'm not gonna, maybe I put a link in the description. I don't know, but uh, anyways, this is what's happening. I'm driving right now, as you can see. Hopefully, the exposure isn't too wild. I'm gonna do a little turn, and then I'm gonna fade to black and go, uh, get back to you guys when I'm actually doing something of value. Come on, come here. Yeah, babe. So um, I'm actually vlogging this trip. I'm gonna say, you know, I'll make a YouTube video about this, saying that hey, you know, I um, I went to a Shia Majlis, and this is what I learned. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it's important, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? I wanted to like learn and bring value. Look, sputtered, sputtered, sputtered. I miss you. Did you no, you don't. You took forever to even say it. Come on, bro. You took forever to say it. That means you don't miss me. Are you not replying to me? Just busy, busy being a mom right now, making sure my children don't drown. Baby, there. <laughs> Probably my my reception. See, there we go. Call failed. Anyways, guys, still stuck in traffic. Got 25 minutes to go to see my boy Kev, and then inshallah we're gonna take it from there. I'm trying to talk to my wife. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, just here. A lot of cars, I don't know if you guys are like me, like I love looking at other people's cars and saying mashallah. You gotta say mashallah, otherwise like, you know, you could put iron on their car and Hasid uh, Silverado is still in front of me as you can tell. Got a really cool uh, Escalade in the back. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I love looking at cars. I love looking at them. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't know if you guys can vibe with that, but you know, look at that. May Allah protect them. Look at that. 
There's fire fire trucks, man. Oh my god, man, I love protect them. Look how dangerous they look, bro. Look how dangerous that looks. Come on, make the offer, people. When we see this, we should ask Allah to make the offer them, you know what I mean? May Allah protect them, may Allah protect them. They have a little baby, man. This is so dangerous, subhanAllah. Come on. May Allah protect them. May Allah protect them. Come on, guys. Being in Quraq is scary. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim or not Muslim. You know how like you know how scary that gets, man. We should be making dua for people when we see harm way harm coming to people, you know what I mean? We should ask Allah's forgiveness and his mercy and have mercy upon us too. Look at that nice little mustang over there. Yeah, man. I'm like Stradman, but like the Muslim Stradman. <laughs> Looking at other cars. Stradman be like, oh we got another lamb over here. What's going on guys? All that, but you know, I think that's a little over the top. No one's like that ever. And these are a lot of personalities that we develop for YouTube. These are YouTube online personalities. That's what it really is, guys. Honestly, it's just YouTube personalities that make us over the top. And, you know, I mean, in real life, we're not like that. We're introverted people or we extroverted, but, like, we're not like that. And the problem is that, you know, YouTubers lose themselves. They lose themselves. And they don't know. I like the Tesla, guys. What do you think about that? What do you think about the Tesla? Yeah back there somewhere can't even see yeah man i would definitely recommend the mark ii every time i look at this i'm just like man the mark ii i trade I, you know what? i'll trade someone i'll trade you for your mark ii take my mark three um you know what i mean i don't know what i was talking about but i'm just saying a bunch of stuff to fill this vlog up with cool stuff and i'll probably say something smart maybe if i say something smart i don't know I don't, that's what i said guys i don't really vlog and you know it's not about not vlogging it's just like i vlog but i don't feel confident in my vlogs enough to release them but you know what screw it screw it just release it you know what i mean i'm my own worst enemy sometimes i think we all can be our own uh worst enemy you know what i mean see look forever to track my face why is it taking so long to track my face it shouldn't be that way i mean um but yeah your YouTube personalities. Remember, you know, people lose themselves in this YouTube thing, man. People lose who they actually are. Sometimes people don't even know who they are and they become someone that they're not. And But they don't even know that they're not that person. They don't even know who they are. I know that's kind of confusing, but the truth is, like, we have to know who we are. You know, and even myself, being 31 years old, I know I look younger than that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm still learning more about myself every single day. And being on YouTube, I've learned more things about myself, who I am, what makes me tick, what's important to me, what's not important to me. And for me, my family is super important to me. And um, yeah, I love my family. There we go. Kevin's hitting me up right now. Kevin's on the ones and twos. Listen, guys, I'm going to go back over here and just see what's up. We'll talk very soon, inshallah. Wifey's calling. You got to pick up. Salam alaikum, babe. Hey, welcome, Sam John. Is that better? You have better service now? I, I think my service sucks. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, I took the kids to the bathroom. I had Ahmed, uh, Duan, Ayah, and Alicia came as well. Okay. And we just went to the bathroom, and you have to wear the mask. So as soon as I went in, the reception called. Oh, I thought it was mine because I had bad service too. Yeah, no and problem, then now John. I looked, it said no, it said no service. So then I switched it off to airplane mode and turned it back on. It's oh, good. mashallah, may Allah bless you. Thank you, babe, for calling me back. When you stop, when you stop responding to me, I was just like, did she just hang up on me? That's like the worst no, feeling no, ever. No, no, I just got cut off and I just got into the bathroom. So yeah. I was like, you really needed the bathroom? Yeah, no problem. So, babe, yeah, I was just like, listen, he called, invited me. He was just like, oh, I'm going to do this thing. I was like, you know what? I've been meaning to make a video about it, especially a lot of people in the comments section have been talking about, like, making a video about Shias and, uh, uh, you know, Ali and uh, Hussein and radiallahu anh. You know what I mean? Like, they were, they were asking about it. So I'm just like, look, I don't really know much about Shias, right? I know what I've been told about Shias, if that makes sense. I'm like, yeah. you let me let me find out for my own self. So the name of the video is going to be called "I Went to a Shia Majlis and uh, This Is What I Learned." Make sense? I guess just be. I guess just don't say anything. What do you mean? Because the thing is, you don't want to be pro and you don't want to be, you know, against it, and you don't want to be for it either. That's that's really good advice you're giving me, babe. You rather just be like, okay, this is. Do more of it as like a vlog. Yeah, so it is, it is a vlog. Like even right now, even this conversation is being vlogged. <laughs> yeah, it's more, it's more like uh, what you experience. Yeah, no, that's what it is. Here's that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. Look, I'm not here. I'm not a scholar. We spoke about this before, babe. Like I'm not Mufti Mek. I'm not a scholar, right? Um. So I, I'm. I want to go to this to bring value to my audio. I mean, to my uh, audience. Yeah. 
this is one of the it's you know, very passionate. Yeah, 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 babe, for sure. And look, I, I want to just like, like, just present the the, just the what I've learned, the experience. That's it, John. That's the main thing. I just wanted to like get an experience myself, so I could bring back that experience to my community. So that's why I said I went to a Shia Majlis, and this is what I learned. Right. That's it. That's what it's called. Like that's why yeah. the video is called that way. And this is how I felt or whatever. You know what I mean? Just because like I don't know much about it, but at the same time, I you know, a lot of people who like watch my videos and who follow me and subscribe, they're Shia too. You know what I mean? And you know, sometimes I don't know their perspective that often and I know only what I've been told. So I'm just gonna go there and experience and learn what, what it is so I can improve my own uh, my cultural awareness and sensitivity. Because babe, look at this, right? The people who are enemies of Islam, you know those people who were like ripping the Quran and eating it? Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, look at that. Do they care about Shias or Sunnis? Do they care? Honestly, right? If we can't come to common terms with something that we agree upon, can we just come to common terms with something we disagree upon, which is what they did was wrong? You know what I mean? Like what they were yeah. doing, ripping the Quran is wrong. We all are offended by that. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So, so that's something that we all should be agreeing to. You know what I mean? Like this, this war that people have against Islam, they don't care. They don't discriminate against Shia, Shia or Sunni, but we're discriminating against ourselves. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Ah, uh -huh. thank you. I needed your advice, so thank you for giving me your advice. But I'm happy you called. I have 14 minutes until I get there, and I'm um, just driving right now. Huh, John? Where is it? Yeah, so I'm going to my friend Kevin's house. Remember the brother from the American Islamic Radio who gave me the black uh, black power shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He drove him. So him, uh, he invited me to his house because they're gonna go. To, we're gonna go to the majlis afterwards, right? Which is gonna be at eight. The majlis is gonna be at eight. Okay. So he's like, "Look, you have okay. nothing to do. Come chill with me. Then we go together." I said, "All right, bet. I'm home alone, babe." I know, but you had plans. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. No, 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 babe. You what know the plan? person canceled. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the person canceled. So I'm like, listen, why should I? I'm like, this is a great opportunity to make my vlog because I wanted to make a video about this. I'm like, let me go to that. If you canceled on me, that's your loss. Just make sure you eat that steak and onions. I will do, babe. We're going to probably get some lunch together. I'm going to stay true to my, my meal plan. I'm not going to. No, babe. Just just the just the meal we the had. Drink. Yeah, just the drink, John. Yeah. Oh. What about you? Uh, I had the drink, I had water, I had a banana, some strawberries. Good, good. A few of, the, few of those um, heritage. Weather is good? Weather's lovely, water's cold, kids are enjoying it. MashaAllah, the kids are having fun, that's what matters. Yeah, I wish I was with you guys, but you know what? There's a there's a there's a hikmah in this, and there's goodness in this, and khayr in this. I'm sorry I wasn't with you guys. You know what I mean? That's why I didn't want to take them at six. I'm just like, yo, you you can't just hey beautiful hey hey. You wanted daddy to come to the beach too? Yeah, I said I'm standing Okay, okay, baby. Look, daddy's driving right now. And daddy, when you come home, daddy's going to be home too, inshallah. I love you. The beach. Here shuts at seven. Okay. Uh, I'll check with Leo when she wants to make Stay to seven. Stay, Stay to seven. Stay to seven. Uh, I think we'll probably leave around six, six thirty. Okay. Because we're gonna look for somewhere where we can eat as well around here. Okay. And uh, then what we wanna do is do our salas and then. Okay, good. You guys are travelers, so just remember, just combine, inshallah. Yeah, we wanna do maghrib and isha together. Yes, do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Take us, uh, a couple of like yes, two hours yes, mashallah. Put your salah first. That's good. Okay, baby. Listen, I don't want to hold you, right? I'm just driving, vlogging at the same time. This conversation is vlog too. I need to show people how to have conversation with your spouses. You know what I mean? They need to learn. Ah, imagine if I'm like, I'm gonna beat you. Again. Yeah, imagine. That should have been funny. We should clickbait people. We should clickbait yeah. people right now. <laughs> I'm like, yo, why are you ringing me for? I went to the beach. But to get babe, away from you. babe, I'm sorry. I miss you so much, though. Yeah, well, guess what? I don't miss you. Oh, babe, you're so mean to me. Come on. <laughs> this is Big Boss. We're doing, we're doing noggin, bro. That's what we're doing right now. <laughs> All right, then I'll catch you later. All right, baby, I love you. All right, so I'll catch you. I will do, we'll do, baby. We'll do, I'm going to get off this. You need to take care of my car. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. All right. Love you, bye. Love you, bye, babe.
Um, man, it feels good to talk to the family, but anyways, I listen to some Tony Robbins, listen to what he's saying, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, mashallah, here, finally made it. Why am I going on the other side like I'm about to drive myself? Hey, everyone, my man's Kevin, inviting me to the majlis. This is going to be a good learning experience for you guys. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah, that's Kevin the boss. I'm going to be... I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna jump in. You or me is greatness. Okay, okay. No I put you on. No no Buna Muhammad is the real deal. Oh, bro, mashallah, love the car, bro. It's my dad's, bro. Is it? Your dad's a baller, mashallah. Loving it, loving it. All right, bro, tell us real quick. Real quick, real quick. What's happening tonight? What's happening tonight? Oh, we're gonna take you on a whirlwind. We're gonna show you a lot of new things that you probably have never witnessed in your life. Okay. Uh, I've been going for the last uh, 10 days and it's been an eye-opening experience. Has it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And uh, the love that you get for the Prophet of Allah's family wow. at these events. That's, Honestly, it, that's, bro, that's interesting. It's, it's that's so interesting. strong, man. You know, you know how, you know, yes, we... we your, your chair did not just do something crazy. Yeah, just you. cra you your just chair did you. not just hug me, bro. Hug oh, so, okay. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Back so, to the life of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's family, right? Yeah. And we have uttermost love for them and we respect them and Definitely. honor them, right? Definitely. This is on a whole nother level, bro. Really? To see that people are crying, right? Mourning. Yeah. Actually feeling the pain, right? Uh, and uh. being amongst it all, it's a it's an experience that is unlike any other. And I suggest that every Muslim, non-Muslim, everybody to go witness this one day because the thing is that, you know, this was a man who stood up for justice. Wow. Imam Hussein stood up for justice, right? Wow. I'm not Shia. I'm not. Yeah, no, you I, know what? I was I, just about to say, say, I ask you on camera, like, are you Shia yourself? But like, so let me ask you a question, right? How are you maintaining that balance then? How are you striking that balance of like, hey, you're not Shia, but you're appreciating someone else's beliefs? Because. In, in our, our religion Could you roll the window up? I'm sorry, course, bro. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Course. It's mad cold in here too. It's nice, bro. Our religion teaches about tolerance, right? Sure. And we're tolerant towards every other religion, right? Okay. How, I know where you're going with this. How this are is we good. not tolerant within our own religion, within within our own Muslim brothers and sisters? Wow. Like, That's a good point. I mean, you know, what happened 1,400 years ago was a man who stood up for justice, who gave his life. Sure, sure, sure. Because he did not want to stand. He did not want to give his allegiance to a man who was a tyrant at that time. Yeah. And this is Prophet Muhammad's own family. This is his grandson. And Prophet Muhammad's own foretold this was going to happen. Wow. Uh, many hadith that he, he, you know, there was a time where uh, he was praying at Fatima at his house. So you and learned all this from the thing? Yes. Wow. On my, my own studying as on well. On your own study. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, was, Honestly, I didn't know any, any of this. I'm telling my uh, viewers, so the title of the video is going to be called, I went to a Shia Majlis and this is what I learned, yeah. right? And, and the purpose of this video is, bro, because look, at the end of the day, obviously, there are Shias who follow me as well. They've hit me up like, hey, what are you going to say about this? And the truth is, the biggest service I can do to anyone is just learn. Honestly, it's just learn, yep. right? I don't know. I'm not claiming to know. And about? honestly, what I've heard is usually but people say that oh they curse the mother of the believers and they curse all the sahabas yes. that's what i heard and but i, I don't believe seen, that's true i have not seen that okay so you have not I, seen this I have not so seen far it. we're confirming i have not seen I it obviously seen he has not seen it himself I'm, and I, the best thing i've seen so far right yeah is love okay i've seen communities get together listen we're in the middle of a pandemic okay right and you know uh, we're we're out, we're out on the streets marching for George Floyd. Yeah. We're out on the street marching for Black Lives Matter. Sure, right? sure. Which is very important. Yes. Right? And Imam Hussein stood up for the same exact thing. Wow. He stood up for. Wow. For our right. Can, can I say something? I feel like amongst Muslims, we feel, and tell me correctly, it's true, that even if we start like, like. Doing more research about Imam Hussein, it makes us see You'll more people fall think. In love. You'll fall in besides love, that, besides, I'm sure we will, but a lot of times people might even think you're Shia because of that. Like I know I get asked a lot if I'm Shia because I wear black all the time. No, homie, I wear black because it slims me, son. The camera adds some pounds to me. I'm wearing black because it looks good on me. I mean, and my wife likes how I look in black too, so I gotta wear that. But you know what I mean? Like people have this thing that oh, if something looks different, people thought I was Shia because I had tattoos. You know what I mean? So. I feel like even if a person starts learning about Imam Hussein and we start even talking, let's suppose I made a video about praising and talking about his legacy, people are like, oh, you're Shia. When he's like, bro, we should be knowing about these people, agreed? My friend, this is the same Imam Hussein that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would stay in sajda for longer wow. because he was on his back. Wow. So, wow. Uh, a person, listen, 
to ask you, you have kids, right? Yes, I do. You have two daughters, Alhamdulillah. Like right? Alhamdulillah. Our daughters have a, 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 a boy. When yeah. they get older, they have a boy, right? Yeah. How much love will we have for that yeah. child that we get? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? This That's is hard. the same Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who took, out, took the whole world out of darkness and sure. brought us into light, right? Sure. Like Buddha Muhammad said, he brought yeah. us into light, right? Yeah. And this is his own grandson. This is the, 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 the little baby that wow. he used to hold in his arms. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what, man? Honestly, and I think that this is where we need to come to an understanding that, um, that honestly, like this, this is great, right? A lot of times Muslims feel like a lot of it is propaganda. And I'll tell you what, this one, just saying, so you know, like, you know, this is what we hear, you know, and I, like, this part of this video is just so I could have clarification. Do you know how many people are not gonna like this video, even if they don't watch it? That's They're not cute. gonna even like it! That's cute! They're gonna dislike That's it cute. when they see it, yeah. That's cute! Let yeah. me tell you something, my friend. Yeah. On America's Islamic Radio, I don't know if you've been watching, right? For the last 10 days, we've been doing much coverage of Sheikh Fayyaz from NYU. Oh my god. And the, oh amount, my god. Of hate, <laughs> the amount of hate I have gotten, right? <laughs> Calls, texts, death threats. Wow, death right? threats. Death threats. Death threats. What are you doing? For what? My man's and pushing that S, S class. Come on let now. Me tell you, let me tell you something. Oh, matter. Yeah. If they watch those coverage that we did with them, right? Yeah. And they listen to what he said, right? Yeah. If you would have took off this imam from NYU, NYU Sheikh Fayyaz Jafar. Okay, okay. If you would have took off, you need off, to introduce me to this guy. Of course, we're going to, brother. Yeah. If you would have took what he was wearing off, because he had a t traditional Shia garment, right? Uh huh. And you put a different topi on him and a different. And dope, you heard right? his talk. And you heard his talk, right? You would never know he was Shia. Yeah. So the, 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 the thing Fantastic. is that people do not even want to just even uh, give it a chance. Give it a chance. They don't want to even. And again, just by giving a chance doesn't mean you are becoming a Shia. No, it's you're able to understand people. It's so funny, bro. We take so much time to understand Christian and Jews and learn and study their because books and this that's and that. What our religion teaches us to do, brother. Yeah. yeah. And like yeah. I said in the beginning. We're tolerant to everybody else, right? But our own self. We're not tolerant to our own self. And you know, you know what? I was telling my wife this on my way over here, bro. I was just saying to my wife that how you know we've seen people like scum uh, ripping the Quran, eating it like David Wood and what they were doing. You know, the apostate people. Okay. Bro, they don't discriminate if you're Shia or Sunni. They just rip the book that we all follow. You know what I mean? If we can't come to common terms with things that we agree upon, can we at least come to common terms with what things that we disagree upon? Such as ripping the Quran, eating it. Isn't that wrong? Don't we all disagree upon that? So why can't we come to common terms under that umbrella by itself? Bro, the purpose of this channel and what you guys are doing is to inform people and bring people together. It's not to tell you I support Shias, I support Sunnis. Nah, bro. I support, support Muslims. Bro, I support each. We got to support each other. Bro, the world, bro, we are all on this globe that's circling in the and floating in the middle of the universe, right? In the middle of nowhere, by the permission of Allah. And we have to live here together. We have to. There's no abort. There's no exit. We can't kick people out. We can't have our own genocide he, against he, people. He, he we got to learn to he, appreciate each other. Yeah. Elon Musk is not taking us to more than He's not. Bro. And we ain't getting that ticket. It's not going to be. He ain't taking no Muslims, right? He ain't doing that. The point I'm trying to say is guys, we're, we're on this planet together and we gotta find a way to live together. Even if we don't see eye to eye, even if we don't believe in the same things, and this is not about Shia, this is just in general, right? We gotta find a way to live, see eye to eye, and even if we don't see eye to eye, live together. For example, like the atheists or the Christians who are ripping the Quran. Listen, if you don't, if you left Islam and you're an ex-Muslim, that's you. But why do you have to disrespect us? Why do you have to disrespect what you were there? You know what I mean? So the thing is like, we need to have decency amongst each other. I feel like Allah has put us on a social experiment. We're on this earth doing a social experiment with each other. Are you gonna learn to tolerate and learn about each other? Look guys, I'm super excited. I need to just bask in this S class right now. Super excited, mashallah, to go where we're going. We're gonna be continuing these conferences. Right what? We're about to the studio, right? Oh, studio. oh okay, okay. <laughs> So, we're, you know, we're going to go to the studio, inshallah, I'm going to vlog you guys from there too. Uh, but this is what the vlog is about, guys, learning. I'm learning, you're learning, right? You want to dislike this video, do it, you know what I mean? But you're learning, you know what I mean? Well, who, are there, who else is showing you this, you know what I mean? No one is. No one is open-minded enough to just give people a chance to, you know, explain yourself, you know what I mean? We want people to give us a chance. Yep. We want people to give us a chance, but we're not willing to give other people chances. Let's, let's do this. These are our brothers and sisters, let's talk. Okay, mashallah, we're here. Uh, the majlis is on the bottom, meaning bottom of the day, later on at 8. But we're here trying to get something to eat, Long Island, here at Kebab G's. Never been here before, so excited to do that. Some people eating, super amazing, salam alaikum. Hair, doing her thing. 
My man Kevin in front. That's what Jordan's on. Yeah, man, excited to uh, see. Oh, I need to put my mask on. My phone. Hold on. I have no. I have a mask. Have a... Yeah, man. Um, excited for this, man. Like I said, it's a vlog. It's a sort of a idea uh, of uh, you know going to a matches and see what happens there. I mean, to see what's up, see what's happening over there, and uh, it's like a vlog. That's just, I don't know. My vlogs are weird. I do how I want to do it. Oh, they got the raksha. Okay, got the raksha. Get the coffee. Now, bro, I'm trying to stay off the sugar. They got the coffee truck. Okay. Yo, Kawajis is popping. Sorry. Oop. They got the coffee. Hello, hello. So I'm going. This is nice. This is so cool. Oh, she's doing the cool. Do you mind if I take a video? Okay. That's so nice. Look at her. Okay. Mashallah. That's sick. Sick. Here, the Raksha. Okay. Uh -huh. Dope, bro. Dope. I just, I just, I just, I just walked in. Ah. Take it. We'll different. Take it. Yeah, that's it. I came to a majlis and this is what I learned. I went to a Shia majlis and this is what I learned. I'm excited. This is all part of the vlog and the experience of tonight. Excited to take you guys. I'm gonna put the camera down because people are like, like, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. They're like, they don't want to be in the video. They don't want to, but maybe if you're outside, I'll you know, show you some of the food that we had. Uh, but bro, this structure is popping. MashaAllah. Okay, let's make it happen. All right guys, so. This just got eaten like crazy. This was delicious. The naan was fantastic. I didn't want to show you the eating process because everyone eats, but they sent me this. Wait, I think this is like a lemon soda. Not really sure. I would do my best Mark Weens. You know Mark Weens? Oh, it's sour? Yeah. It's my favorite. My wife would love it if it's sour. Give us one now. Give us one now. Oh, this is dope. Whatever this is, this is good. We call this lemon soda. Okay. And this is good. This is good. I love it. Hold on. Yeah, this is not my taste. Mm. I'll tell you this, my wife would love it because it's sour. She would hate it because of the fart powder. It's a fart powder, right? I feel like I... It's a fart powder. Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic, guys. What's the name of this place? Kebab G's. Kebab G's. So. You're a real one, Kebab G's. Hooked it up for us. Bahari Kebab was okay. Bahari Kebab had um, a weird texture. The texture was just like... Um, uh, it, it, it like melted. It didn't taste like meat meat. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but food was good inshallah. Majlis is coming next. Well, actually, he knows a lot more. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, guys, so really quick so you all know right now, I've been kidnapped inside of a Shia's car right now. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 the fact that I can even say that in a joking manner shows that these dudes is cool. I, as I promised, guys, remember, the goal of this entire video, it's not to take sides. It's not to anything like that, guys. My videos are designed to help people discover and develop their Islamic identity. I'm not here to, like, cause you know, problems between people. It's just letting people know that, look, I went to a Shia Majlis and this is what I learned, this is what I saw, this is what I experienced, you know? A lot of times I feel like a lot of the things that we know as Muslims, uh, you know, as, as we would say Sunni Muslims comes from, you know, about Shias, comes from other Sunni Muslims. It's not really having a conversation with Shia. So I'm with these two brothers right here, bro. What's your name? Ali. Ali, and what's your name, bro? Hussein. Hussein, all right. Uh, I knew you looked like Hussein. Okay, anyway, so, <laughs> uh, so, so, so real quick, bro. So I'm gonna go through some misconceptions, right? And just ask you, why okay so i noticed that you guys are wearing black what's the significance behind this the significance behind wearing black is it's a color of mourning it's a color uh, it's a sad color for example when you go to a funeral most people are wearing black because okay. they're showing uh okay. you know that they're mourning for someone okay so the same way uh you go to a funeral uh during the time of muharram okay we're wearing black to signify a mourning period got it got it got it, got it. so uh, okay because a lot of times like sometimes when a person is wearing black like not in muharram but just like overall people are like oh they associate the color black to shias is that like a, a stereotype i think it is a stereotype but also being in new york black is a very common color people wear that's very true that's right. I mean, I, I get caught up with a lot of black people think I'm she. I'm just like, nah, it just makes me look slimmer. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just saying, you know, my wife likes me in black too. So I'm like, all right, that's a, that's a double thing. Okay. Uh, th you know, that that's cool. Thank you for telling us and all that. So it's very symbolic towards like the mourning period. Uh, and what is it exactly that you guys are mourning? You want to go or should I go? Go ahead. All right. 
So what we're mourning? You both can go. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Not by this is his expertise. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, bro, for sure, for sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are we mourning? Mourning is uh, the martyrdom of Hussein ibn Ali. Okay. And he was the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Saw him. Yep. And this was a story that was foretold by the Prophet. Sure. That this would happen. Okay. And I forgot what you asked me. Uh, no, so what, what is it that you're mourning? What are you mourning? Um, so we're mourning uh, the stance that he took because he took a stand against the ruler at the time. Okay. Uh, the ruler asked him to give his allegiance. Okay. And Hussein ibn Ali said that, listen, a man like me can never give allegiance to a man like you because I'm the inheritor of the uh, knowledge and the principles and the morals and the ethics of Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon okay. him. So awesome. how can I give allegiance to a man like you who okay. is basically nowhere near those uh, moral That level. Ethics. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he <coughs> said to him that if you don't give allegiance, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, hey, hot man al which basically loosely translated from Arabic means that humiliation is far from us. Wow. So if okay. you, you can sort of take it that I'd rather be humiliated. Well, I mean, die then, exactly. then give allegiance. Like, I'd okay. rather like die on my feet than to live on my knees. Got it. So Got it. that's essentially what happened. They cut off the water supply for him. Wow. Uh, and he was with his family and his kids and his uh, some of his friends because he had originally gone to go Hajj. Okay. And when he went to Hajj, he realized that there were some, you know, rumors that people were going to try to attack him there. Okay. And because it's the holy place, he didn't want any bloodshed there. Got it. He left there and headed to Kufa, okay. where people had asked him to come there and they would support him. Okay. On the way there, he was intercepted by the enemy forces or the, by the ruler's forces. And they asked him to give allegiance again. And he said, listen, I can't give allegiance to him. Okay. And they said, if you don't, we're going to kill you. And he said, do what you have to do. Got it. So, uh, so they killed him. They killed him. Okay. They killed his uh, sons. They killed his brothers. They okay. killed his uh, six-month-old baby. Wow. Uh, simply for asking water for the baby. Wow. Okay. And how detailed do you want me to go? No, no, that's fine. So basically, that's what you're mourning. So that's what we're mourning. Okay. That he stood up for justice. Yeah. He stood up for equality. And he, and he died. Up, died in that cause. Uh, yeah. And he stood up for uh, against racism. Okay. And against tyranny and against bigotry. The things okay. that we talk about every day now here. Okay. So. so Okay, so no, so that, that makes sense. That that makes a lot of sense that that's what you're mourning exactly. Okay, uh, so let me, let me ask you some things, right? Do you, so this is what I've been told like a whole bunch of the, uh, times, and I've got some clarification from Shias, but I want to I want to hear this from you. Do you guys hate the mother of believers? How can we hate the mother of believers? That's a good question. I don't know. That's what they get tell. That's why I hear people are just like the Shias curse the mother of believers, specifically Aisha or the Allahan. Is that a true thing? So you have to go deeper into uh, what we're saying here, right? Yeah. What we're talking about. Yeah. There and by are, the way, this is not me. I'm just like throwing out things that I no, hear. Okay. Just no. so, you know, so no disrespect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. No problem. Okay. Good. So before we go into, do you do this? Do you do that? Mm -hmm. Do you not do this? Do you not mm -hmm. do that? Mm -hmm. Let's try to find the root of what all these things are. Right? Sure. Talk so to me. So where all this coming from? Sure. So with the knowledge that we have as Shias or Sunnis, I would say it's very similar as far as respecting the Prophet and his family. Okay. However, there are other outside forces that don't necessarily want to see Sunnis and Shias collectively respecting the Prophet and his family. Wow, so you're saying outside forces? So they oh, come wow. in and they infiltrate and drop different things into Shias and into Sunnis to try gotcha. to get the two sides to fight. Okay. Because if you look at it, with the knowledge that we have, in, even in Sayyid Buhari, actually, it, it says that the Prophet says that after me, I'm leaving behind two weighty things. One yes. is uh, the, Quran, the Quran, and the, and the other Sunni. is the Ahlul Bayt. Okay. And if you stay with the two of them, you will never go astray. You know what's interesting? I've always heard, right, from, from my knowledge, is the Quran and the Sunnah. I've never heard of this term of exactly being called leaving the Quran and the Ahlul Bayt about that. That's interesting. I never heard of that before. That's interesting. Yeah. So, and you're right. And every Sunni person or every uh, Sunni Shia, uh, I'm sorry, Sunni friend that I would say that to, they say the same exact oh, thing. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. But the fact is, it's literally in the it's Bukhari. Right. Okay. There's more than 32 it's, sources for uh, for the Sunni books uh, that say that the Prophet said that I'm leaving behind you the two weighty things, the Book of Allah and my Ahlul Bayt. Gotcha. However, uh, 
I guess media and it sounded it sounded easier on the tongue to say you know the book of Allah and the Sunnah okay which we all believe as Muslims there's nothing wrong with that the, okay the, the, the Sunnah of the Prophet is something that we respect and yeah. back to that question about us cursing the mother of the believers sure sure uh, Prophet Muhammad is our Prophet yes. we love the Prophet we respect him and we believe that he is the master of everything in existence okay that's our belief on the Prophet we sure. will not allow for anybody to disdain or try to disrespect his name in any way. Good. If you have, a, if you have, forget the prophet. Like if you have a sheikh or an imam that's respected. Yes. And his wife is known to do something, just out of respect for this imam, you keep your mouth shut. Okay. Right. Okay. It's the same way. Now there are, we'll see videos, whatever, certain Shias that would do that. Mm -hmm. And those, all I have to do is pray that God guide them. So you're you saying know, that the, not the mainstream. That's now. fine. Thanks. So what you guys are suggesting is that the that the the rumors that we hear, right, of people saying that oh the Shias don't like the mother believers or they're cursing the mother believers or even the companions to that extent, right, is something that we hear. You're saying that there is sometimes an out most of the time there is an outside force that comes in who wants to start problems between the Sunnis and the Shias so that we don't see eye to eye and they start these false tales from you guys. And what you're acknowledging is that okay we might have some historical differences but we would never say something like that and those are really voices and noise from the outside trying to disturb the relationship between Sunnis and Syria. Am I bridging that correctly? Thank you very much for the explanation. Okay, that mashallah. Masha okay, so so let me so again, uh, so this is this is actually very very interesting because again, I was I don't want to say grown up on that because I, I'm, I'm learning every day and you know that's okay to learn uh, but I feel like a lot of people have questions like this and you guys just answering them means a lot okay so you were mentioning something about the stones my bro like yeah. why is it that you guys put stones and when you're praying from uh, for, uh, uh, praying yeah because I heard that you guys put a stone or is it a stone is it clay tell us more about that yeah so when we pray uh, as we say that we come from God we go back to God okay we're made out of clay okay and we're gonna go back into the grave which is also dust and clay whatever you want to call it and the significance behind the stone is that it's really just made out of clay okay and when we pray on it it's it signifies that we're praying we're getting as low as we can basically putting our head on dust on, okay. on the clay of God okay. uh, like any clay right okay so we're seeking closeness to God by being as, at, at the lowest point possible, which is the clay. Gotcha. And it's a natural thing okay. that, uh, you know, clay is made from, sorry, I'm like driving in. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Having a little don't miss okay. the exit and yeah, don't know, crash. Seriously. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Um, <laughs> Now you're good? So, so that's really all it is. It's, it's clay and we pray on it uh, to seek nearness to God. We don't gotcha. pray to it. Got it, um, got it. We, we just... As, as as if we were going to be standing on grass and praying. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's have a Shia Shia fight here. This guy has a very spiritual answer to this question. <laughs> I have a much more go ahead, go ahead. spiritual answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Quran says, "I have made the earth for you yes. as a place for sujood." Yes, it is. Now, yes, it is. The jurists they have a difference, right? Some people say the earth means the floor, and yeah. that's why the Sunnis they took it as okay. It means the floor, so basically the yeah. ground it doesn't matter, carpet, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went a little bit more literal. We got the earth it. has to be the okay. Earth, that's so it has fair. To be some sort of sand. Got some it. Sort got of it. Like got it. So or okay. anything that's made out of nature. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So, like, that so, actually, you know, that so that actually that actually was helpful. No, thank you, thank you, thank you for saying that. No, seriously, thank you for okay. So look, so. A lot of times that I read in the comment section, people like whenever they mention, uh, you know, like you, you guys, your love for Hassan Hussein and uh, mm -hmm. Ahlul Bayt. Mm -hmm. I think that in in sometimes in Islamic classic Islamic tradition, sometimes this part of history is not taught that often. You know what I mean? Yeah. About uh, Hassan Hussein and You know what I mean? So uh, let me ask you this, and and this is where I was learning more about the beauties of. Um, uh, of the grandchildren of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, um, you know, sometimes people have said, I don't know if, the, the, again, I'm just asking, so please forgive my ignorance. I'm just trying to figure out for all of us right now. Um, you know, sometimes the, what people have said is that you guys praise them to the level of the Prophet. What is your comment about this? What is your clarification about this or whatever you have to say in regards to that? There is no one that yeah. can, that can, no one can exceed match. the level of the prophet. You heard it here first. No one All right. Can exceed the level of the All right. Like the prophet is yeah. like. The in fact, prophet. their yeah. their their bounty and their praise, whatever, and all that stuff that that you hear from us, yeah. all comes from the prophet. Got it. You know, this Got is, it. if it wasn't for the prophet, it's the love of the prophet that makes you like exactly. okay. And their okay. love, uh, well, the, the the prophet's love towards them makes us love them. Got but it. But we do not believe anyone can even come close to the prophet's love. Sorry, sorry. Okay, good. So anyone who was in any doubt 
that you know uh, Shias are like worshiping or you know praising highly Hassan Hussein or the other one like they're not doing that at all this is what the, the Shias brothers are saying right now and explaining to us so so <clears throat> we could put that aside okay now the next question comes and this is where Can a I lot of people add something on please please yes yes yes, cool. yes of course so I wanted to add a couple things to that please so one uh, the Prophet says that uh, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein they are the Sardars basically like the leaders okay of the youth of paradise okay right so that means that they have some sort of significance there, right? Okay. So why would the Prophet say something if it didn't mean anything much for us? Got it. So he's saying to respect them. Secondly, okay. when he would be uh, doing his khutbahs okay. and Imam Hussein would walk in, he would stop the khutbah, get Got up it. and go and pick <laughs> him up and bring him to okay. him, right? Yes. And these are in, in Bukhari and these are in Shia books and yeah. Sunni books. Yeah, and I think that a lot of times uh, we also take from this sunnah of how important it is to bring the children to the masjid, show them a love and attention instead of yelling at them exactly. and screaming at them. Okay, so now so, you're saying this as uh, also as a sign of, uh, of level, right? Like that's yeah. also a level sign, okay. And then I'll add a couple more Please. to it quickly. Uh, another thing that the Prophet said is that Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. Okay. Right? So that's how much love that he has for him. He Got picks it. him up, he kisses Got him. It. He, uh, if he's uh, praying, uh, actually um, the Prophet was praying and Imam Hussein would go and sit on his back. Got it. And this is a common like Sunni and Shia Hadith. Yeah. And the Prophet would elongate his sajood. Okay. So that says how significant these people are. Okay. Imam Hussein and Imam Hussein. Got you. If, if we should take lesson, we should take lesson from that. That listen, these aren't just regular any kids. These Got are it. some very important kids, very important sure. Uh, sure. moms or personalities sure. that we should respect. Sure. So a lot of times I've read in the comment section, and I've been told a lot too about uh, about uh, the beliefs of Shias. And once again, the purpose of this is to remove any type of uh, misconceptions about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard that you guys and please forgive me for just bluntly asking i appreciate you guys creating a safe space for me to ask this by the bro, way right absolutely. Uh, you know plus please please don't kill me okay i know i'm in your car i'm gonna bro, put me in the truck watch your mouth bro <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We so got you here in the dark <laughs> this was the plan the whole time okay so i so what i've been told is that you guys worship your imams meaning the 12 imams or something of that nature can you like spread some light about that about the imams that you follow or whatever you know i don't know whoever uh, doesn't <laughs> believe that there is one god yeah right okay he is not a muslim yeah okay done end of story okay shirk is the greatest sin that god will not forgive there these are go. the things that we are very in common about okay we have the same qibla we have the same quran and okay. we worship one god and God has a status that no one can reach. Okay. Right? Okay. God is one, and whoever believes there are two, they are outside the realm of Islam. Okay. Like, it's very, very clear cut. Okay. Whoever worships an imam, whoever worships a prophet, whoever Got worships it. anything other than Allah, is outside the realm of Islam. No question about it. SubhanAllah, yeah. that's facts. That's yeah. right. Anything you would like to add on to that, bro? He, he just... Yeah? It all. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so... So, are there... So, the Quran you mentioned, the Quran, it, you... It's the same Quran. That yes. you all follow, we all follow. No, actually, I have a different one at home. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so the, we clarified the imams issue. Okay, we clarified all these things. Um, I think that if I have any more questions, obviously, I'll just pop them up as, as I go along. But I feel yeah. like a lot of us who are watching this, uh, this this very you know nice interview, mashallah, with some with some Shia brothers. I think that it's important for us because I've recently seen a video, guys, uh, with uh, this. Terrible, terrible, awful human being uh, named David Wood who was uh, uh, ripping the Quran and eating it and doing stupid oh. things of that nature, right? Yeah. And uh, you know, oftentimes Muslims we don't see eye to eye about things, and I get that, you know. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala calls us in the Quran to come to common terms with each other. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, we are on the same side, we, and that's what we all need to remember. We're on the same side, and if we can't come to some common terms in certain things that we agree on, maybe we could come to common terms on things that we disagree upon. For example, mm -hmm. like uh, degrading the Quran, ripping it, throwing mm -hmm. it, and eating, you know what I mean? Like these people who are destroying Islam, the Quran, they don't care no. if it's Sunni or Shia. They just want to harm us, you know what I mean? And we all need to band together instead of looking so apart, you know what I mean? And okay, if we have historical differences, that might be it. But if look at people like David Wood and all that who are actually harming Islam, yeah. harming the Quran, you know, we that's a battle. They're fighting, they're waging a war against all of us. And that requires us to unite you know, earth, fire, wind, water, heart, 
Captain Planet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, we got to go, you know, Ultron on these people sometimes. You know, we yeah. have to combine. And they know that we're disunited. They know that, you know, we, we would rather focus on the differences rather than the similarities between people. But yeah, exactly. And then the, uh, there was actually just reminded me of something. Please, um, please. There was a sheikh, and I can't remember his name, but he was reciting a majlis one time. And he said, listen, why are we fighting with each other? We're so worried about if we're going to pray with our arms down or our arms folded. But they're just worried about cutting off our arms. Wow, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, go. I did note. I did notice that you were praying with your arms down. Does that come from like a specific sunnah that you follow, or like for what exactly? Based on the narrations that we have and the Maliki school as well. Okay. On the Sunni sure. side, they believe that the Prophet, when he prayed, he prayed no, with his hands down. They, okay. They weren't folded. Okay, so you, you're basing it upon a hadith that you guys know of, yes. a following. Okay, yes. that's fair. That's fair. So I've seen, obviously, growing up in, in Pakistan as well, too, I've seen this. And, you know, this is a big time, obviously, where people do the, the, the uh, is it the jalous? Is that what it's called? So the, where, where they do the beating or something of that nature. We've seen the videos also. I've seen it also where people get like the knives and do that I noticed that you guys were just doing the tapping against the chest yes. right very calmly very calmly doing this one what's the significance of the tapping and two why are people doing the blades and stuff like that if you could shed some light on that please well sure. most of it is going to be mourning in in the hadith is very cultural okay right so you notice like in our back home when we want to mourn we might cry loudly and mm -hmm. then in the united states when we go to funerals we have a new culture of for example giving a moment of silence mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. okay. so uh there's there's leeway on how people mourn most of these things are actually cultural okay right uh you notice that there's like a music to it there's certain tones and sure. certain things they're sure. all culturally based yeah however are they in the realms of sharia that's a very good question and there's differences in the shia school okay. like for example okay. self-flagellation there's a lot of scholars that do not allow it okay while some people you mean do. you mean the 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 yeah, 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 yeah with, that, the with the knives and hurting they yourself. say that they don't allow they don't, it they don't so, allow okay it. wow okay but i didn't know that people, wow some people are very emotional like uh you see, Karbala and Imam Hussein, especially to Shias, people that grew up around that. It, yeah. it, it it's a big deal. It's, it's a, a very it's emotional. It's a very emotional state. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? So I'm with you. Sometimes the, the the culture and the emotion can overtake the advice of an alim. Oh wow! And this is something that we suffer that was with deep, man. We suffer culturally from that because okay. when we go to a person who's ready to go beat himself, yeah. you, you can't talk sense. Yeah. You can't go and be like, hey, He's doing it out of a and, love. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And he's An angry that day and he's sad and he's emotional. If you try to come to him, he, those yeah. guys will go to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so instead, you guys take the more normal approach of just like the yeah, tapping, we right? Just be, anything, that, anything that basically makes mourning true. Okay. Right? Like, hey, this is mourning. Okay. I, 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 when you look at him, it's like, look, I see them mourning. I see them sad. They're actually remembering their history. They're remembering okay. their imams. Then this is within the realms of Sharia. Got it. If you see something and say, okay, well, this is a little crazy, then this is probably outside the bounds. Well, that's of very interesting. That's yeah. very interesting. I, I I also see a lot of times people saying Ya Hassan Ya Hussein. What's the what's the reasoning behind the Ya part in calling uh, out to them or asking? Because it comes off like you're asking them for strength or something. Tell tell us more about this, or you know maybe it's I'm actually, misinterpreting it. It, it comes it comes uh, from morning. You know, like my okay. mom passed away recently, oh, and so then when I go to her so grave, I would say. Oh my mom. Okay. You know? Okay. I'm not asking her for anything, whatever. But got it, got I'm it, got calling it. her name so I can remember. Got it, got it, got it. Oh yeah, my so, mom, right? Yeah, okay. So Yah really just means O. Oh. Okay. Like, oh Hussein. Yeah. Or, oh S Q. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh S Q. By the way. Right? Uh huh. Okay. So it's like Yah Hussein. Okay. Like, oh, I understood. Hussein. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it's not that you're calling to them, praying upon them, praying to them. No. Nothing like that no. whatsoever. Because I've heard so many people say praying to you know the imams and this and that and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just like, listen, no, we gotta ask these questions. The, the only time where it might be a little, we ask. Sometimes we will ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We say, Oh Allah, please give me this and this and this for the sake of Imam Hussein. Okay. You know, like okay. you know, th that okay, would, okay, that would happen. Understood. We're, we're, always, when you're asking something, you're asking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala directly, directly, because okay. He is the only person that gives. Okay. Okay, so so this is obviously coming from an immense love of Imam uh, Hassan and uh, Imam Hussein radiallahu an. Um, so and uh, it's not that you're praying to them directly to them or anything like that. There's a, a huge amount of emotion attached to it, and which I would honestly say that you know the the average Muslim doesn't know much history about this, and I would consider myself the average Muslim, and I honestly don't know uh, much history about Karbala and all these sort of things, you know. And most of the time, it's being taught. 
from Shias, you know? So maybe it's also time to uh, for, uh, for the regular Orthodox Sunni Muslim, I guess, to start talking more about these things, you know, and have these historical conversations. Because look, at the end of the day, we need to be able to have an educated conversation, put all yeah. the emotions away, and just talk about these things. Because Hassan Hussein is, you know, significant to everyone. Forget, yeah. it's, yeah. it's like, he is Ahlul Bayt, like we said, you know, and that's something very, very significant. Um, look, guys, like this was super helpful. Like, honestly, I I'm excited to see what's happening. What are we doing here right now? We're in a parking so, lot. Yeah, so we're parked here. Yeah. Uh, and we got you right where we want you. <laughs> <laughs> the ropes were next to me the whole time. <laughs> no, so we're here at the Majlis. Uh, because of COVID, it's being done outside in an open space. Okay. Uh, a little bit further up. Okay. So we're parked here. Uh, they do have some screens, but we can't see them from here. We might have to get out. Okay. Over there. Uh, you want to go for a walk? There. Yeah, so we're going to get out. Yeah, we're going to walk it. over there and uh, pick let's up. Let's do it. Back. Perfect, perfect. Let's go do that right now, guys. Okay, so we're walking right now to the Majlis over here with my bros. Trying to figure this whole thing out. So my bro, uh, my bro Ali was telling me that there's a miscon another misconception that I didn't even know about that happened. Tell us more about this, yeah. bro. So there's this other misconception that I've heard yeah. that the people say that don't go to a Shia person's house or don't go and eat with them because they take uh, children's blood and they put it in your food. Wow. I'm like, where are you getting this, bro? Where are they even getting the blood from? That's the real question. <laughs> yeah. Who are these donors? Who no, are these bro, children donors? Bro. So, so from the zanjir and everything, uh -huh. they said they take that blood and put it in the food. Wow. Wow, so, that is interesting. When I heard that, I was like, that doesn't even make sense, but yeah, who that, came up with this? That, is, that is definitely does not make sense. Okay, so uh, so let me ask you, let me just uh, straightforward ask you like this. How about this? Uh, do you guys pray differently? Do you like, for example, what I mean by that is like, do you pray different units of prayer? Like is Dohar still four fard? Is, like, is there anything different two about that? Fajr, two for Fajr, yeah. Dohar and Uthar, four. Yeah. Uh, Maghrib is three and yeah. Isha is ten. Four. Okay, no, for no, it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a laugh it actually. No. Yeah, okay. For some reason, we, we kind of agreed on that. Like, okay. The prayers, thank yeah. God. Yeah. I guess okay. Because the Prophet prayed for 23 years and got it. All the Sahaba, that was something that we couldn't got disagree it. with. Thank got God. It. Got, got it. Got it. Got that, it. You know, okay. So, so, is there anything that's differently said in the prayer? It, for the is, most part, the most it's part, for the most part, it's the same thing uh, from what I know. Yeah, there's a, the salawat, the shahud, the yeah. taslim. That's so Fatiha, the only thing is, yeah. in Shias, after Surah the Fatiha, you have to recite a complete surah. So you have to complete the surah, and you can't do like parts of a surah. And the Sunni side, they could oh, recite, you know. Okay. Which, okay, so you have to read the whole surah. So if you start a bakr, you got to finish bakr. You got to finish bakr. Gotcha. Yeah, you Ooh, gotta that's finish interesting. Up, yeah. That's interesting. So, okay. Where are we going? Um, but we should be a little quiet over there because yeah, uh, it started. Uh -huh. So if you want to film... I'll do that that section and then we'll come back yeah, and we'll yeah. do the... It's fine, it's fine. Or That's we fine. can continue doing the questions. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. If I have any questions, I'll pop it up side, but I'll save it. Don't worry about it. All right, cool. Do I put my mask on from there? Uh, yeah, I think we should put our mask on. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, they got... I'm just, I'm just seeing this right here. Hold on. So, here at the Majlis over here. I told you, I was bringing you. Here at the Majlis, they got water for people. MashaAllah. If you're thirsty, you got the water for people. It's an emotional day. Got the water. Got some type of lemonade happening. It's a, it's a pretty good setup. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah. 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 Salam alaikum, bro. What, what's in this exactly? They have uh, tea. You want some tea? Tea. Oh no, thank you so much. But that, that that looks good. So hot tea in there too. Yeah. That's nice, man. Got some hot tea in there. Got some tea. Got some some beverages and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Is this one of the larger Shia communities in New York, or is um, this? It's a mixture of actually a few different communities right now. Yeah. Because of COVID, uh, yeah. we're all sort of doing things together as opposed to in different centers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people coming together. Had to put my mask on, guys. Um, man, honestly, my eyes are opening up over here, and this is not about SQ. You're becoming a, a, a Shia now. It's not about that, man. It's, 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 it's about understanding people. I'm just trying to understand them. I'm just trying to understand this thing. I'm a Jahil. I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to figure this whole thing out because it's stressful to see us hating each other and I'm not interested in knowing, wanting to know why we hate each other. I'm sure you could give me a hundred thousand reasons as to 
why you hate me. Don't ever get a Canon G7X Mark III. Stick with the Mark II. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just, I'm just trying to figure out why, where's the hate coming from, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, Alhamdulillah, I had the opportunity to come over here so far, so good. I mean, it just looks like a bunch of people who are just trying to, you know, uh, you know, practice their faith, you know, and how they want to practice it. I think that's the problem that bothers a lot of us, that they want to practice it in an unorthodox way that we're not used to practicing it, you know? And, um, you know, you might want to think it's a bid'ah, you might want to think it's a whole bunch of things, and you're free to think whatever you want to think, you know? Uh, but this doesn't give you or me or anyone the right to mock or harm or disrespect or just say mean things to people just because you don't agree with them. You know, in the comment section, I'm sure it's going to be extremely colorful. Uh, people are going to say a lot of mean things and rude things to each other, fighting each other, talk about Ahlul Bayt, this and that. But I think we're forgetting something really, really important. That this is the family of the Messenger Sallallahu This is the family of the Messenger Sallallahu And this is special to everyone. To everyone. To me, to you, to anyone. And, and, and people who hate us, hate the Messenger, hate his family and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, uh, just trying to bring you a different perspective. Look at families over here. Don't ever get a Mark III. Get a Mark II. Stick with a Mark II. You know what I mean? I know a lot of you guys ask me questions. I ask you, I want to marry a Shia, I want to marry a Sunni. I don't have any answers to that, but we got some, got some warm water, okay? Got some dominoes over here. Got some dominoes, okay? See, look at these kids. Kids are here helping out. Kids are here helping out, man. They're just doing the thing, you know? This, this out here. They're out here just trying to, you know, have fun and just practice their religion. I mean, how they've been taught, how they see fit and all that. See that kid over there? And you know, look at these kids. I, I see these types of kids in front of the bunch. How many times during Ramadan? How many times during Ramadan are we seeing kids? Look at these kids, mashallah. They're, 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 they're little volunteers, mashallah. When you're saying, when you're cursing people who are Shia and so on, you're cursing these little kids too. That's wrong, man. Come on. We shouldn't behave that way. Okay, you disagree with some things. You've been misinformed. The purpose of this video was to inform. Not to convince, to inform. I'm just trying to inform you about what's happening. Let me give a I just want to inform you about what's happening, not convince you. I'm not trying to, I'm not in the business of convincing, I'm in the business of informing. This autofocus sucks, by the way. Can't wait to do something else with this. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more, see what's up, see, uh, uh, see the traditions over here about what's happening. The Shia community, I see these boys are eating, they're eating some uh, dominoes. What's up, boys? What kind of pizza is that? What kind of pizza cheese. is that? Cheese pizza? You like cheese pizza? Yeah. Oh, those are some nice eyes you have, bro. Mashallah. Mashallah. Green over there. Okay, see? Look at that autofocus. Why would it do that? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look how stupid this is. I'm legit here trying to fix an autofocus on my own camera. $800 of just pure crap. This is a crappy, crappy camera. I gotta turn this off and try this again. Uh, so you're part of the community or what? I'm not, man. I'm actually here. Let's go in the light so I can see you a little better. No, I'm not, man. I'm actually a spy. <laughs> no, I'm, this, this <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually here. I was invited um, oh, to come just see what happens and just the culture of everything and everything like that. Uh -huh. um, they invited me, they said, that, listen, they're having this little majlis thing happening over here. I'm like, alright, let's well, go ahead, let's so do you it. you know what's happening, right? I do, I do know what's yeah. happening. You have, an, you have an accent, where are you from? Wow, well, I've been in multiple countries, like, uh, I was born in Pakistan, stayed there for 11 years, then gotcha. stayed in Malaysia, then Kenya, then I'm, I'm in US now. Okay, that's cool, man, that's so, cool. A lot of places. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber myself and uh -huh. I'm, I'm just a regular Muslim YouTuber. Okay. And um, they told me so many of my audience are also Shia. So I just wanted to have some representation for them too so they can see. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just trying to like understand you guys. I really that's don't, right, I don't, I don't right. know. Yeah, I, I actually run a workshop of uh, understanding Karbala. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. Please, okay. So I don't have any questions. I've been asking questions all night long all right. to the guys that Asking all these misconceptions. What's it yeah. like growing up Shia? Uh, growing up Shia is like uh, 
it's knowing that you will suffer a lot during your life not suffer but you'll have a lot of calamities okay. and by being patient and by learning from Hussein to be patient Got you. you get to understand that that your life is not fair no, okay. Bill Gates said that you, you have you, it unlike, saying, it's unfair. Fair. Okay. Yeah. so you gotta be patient Got it. so I learned from Hussein that patient and that's why I continue uh, like I live my life by the lessons that I learned from the, uh, uh, the family of the Holy Prophet and himself Got you. Okay, so you know what? A common yeah. misconception yeah. that a lot of my audience yeah. hears is a lot of talk about Hussein, right? Yeah. Uh, Radhi an. You're yeah. saying these are the life lessons I learned from Hussein. Why is it not you're talking about the life lessons that you've learned from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and the Sunnah of that? Just wondering. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Absolutely you know, right. right. Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we do not absolutely not uh, take uh, Hussein, Imam Hussein, on top of the Holy Prophet. Good, good. Holy Prophet, awesome. yeah. the highest of highest pro priority. He's the gotcha. toppest, the highest rank. Sure. Yeah. Under that, we then take our the Imam, Bayt, yeah, the Ahl al Bayt. Yeah. And then why, why we actually learn a lot from Hussein, and we we, we do mention uh, the Holy Prophet in our majalis, sure. but. Why is these two months all about Hussein? Yeah. Because his sacrifice was in our eyes has been the greatest, right? I, I understand um, the Holy Prophet has the highest rank in us, yeah. right? We do not take Hussein on top of Holy Prophet, Got it. but those who killed him yeah. were Muslims yeah. and they killed the grandson of Holy Prophet. Okay. So, so that's what, and the way he they killed him. You, you, yeah, you must have discussed I'm how sure. how sure. Uh, he was killed. He was sure. killed. Um, I will just give a simple example of how uh, you cut a goat on yeah. the Eid of uh, Bakra Eid. Yeah. They call yeah, yeah. it, right? You give them water. You you have you to have a sharpest knife. Sure. But the way they killed Imam Hussein was. Uh, they had the most blunt knife wow. and they, he was hungry for three days and thirsty, thirsty. for three days. Wow. It is said that you can go without food for three months yeah. but you can't go uh, thirsty for more than three days. Wow. Right? So that's why uh, his sacrifice and his learning uh, has the, has a great impact in our life. You know, that's very, very interesting that you mentioned that. Yeah. Right? You mentioned the word sacrifice, which I think is a really awesome word to be mentioning as well, minute. too. But, but let me ask you this. How does this make you, make uh, Shias different from the theology or idea of Jesus? Because, you know, Christians always, you know, get, get on the, the horse of, Jesus was sacrificed. He was sacrificed for us and for lessons. It so I'm not saying you yeah. but it sounds very similar to that. Uh, what, what would you say to that? Um, I, I would apologize and I don't know how to answer that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Thank, thank you for like yeah. just being clear. Because you know what? It's like, so I, I would want to ask you in growing up Shia, right? Yeah. Was it any bullying involved because you're a Shia? If like the regular Orthodox Sunni Muslim saw, what, yeah. what, and they found out, were you afraid to tell them you were Shia? How did that work? Or were you in a Shia community? Okay, so, well, I stayed in uh, Malaysia okay. and uh, Malaysians do not accept Shia. Wow. Okay. And it's a Muslim country. Yes. So, uh, it, it was scary when uh, when I would go to a uh, public mosque okay. and pray. I was a bit skeptical, okay. but I was never af afraid okay. of, of being there with my hands down and praying. Okay. We accept the difference between Sh Shia and Sunni, but Hussein does not have Shia Sunni. Hussein is humanity. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. So, okay. Okay. So, so because I was I was being told yeah. about this, a lot of times people don't even mention the fact that they are Shia because it creates issues. They just say they're Muslim yeah. and they just keep it quiet. They, and sometimes people find out later on in life that they were Shia. It would be a taboo, but but we take it normally and we understand. Look, uh, people don't know about us. Yeah. yeah. If they do, they are a bit skeptical about us. Okay. Right. But okay. we are very simple, and we have the the line between Shia and Sunni. If you, it's a gray line, but gotcha. it's a very thin line. Got it. Right. Got it. And I wouldn't say that. Uh, once again, I would mention this that Shia and Sunni is uh, Hussein is not Shia Sunni. Got gotcha. Hussein. It's humanity. Got you, got you, yeah. got you. So it is us who's putting divides between yeah. people. 
but it's not in, in anyone's religion or creed to divide one another. This was a wonderful, wonderful thing, but bro, I really, really sincerely appreciate you. This uh, my YouTube channel is called Way of Life. SQ. You should look it up. Inshallah, that's where it's gonna be. It's gonna be called. I went to a I went to a Shia majlis, and this is what I learned. So that's what the video is gonna be about. Thank so, you. Thank inshallah, you. looking forward to posting it, man. Yes, thank appreciate you, so you my bro. I want, I'm probably just gonna go around and interview more people. How many subs? Huh? How many a few, subs? a few. You know. Just so how many subs do you have? Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes. I do. You have a YouTube channel? Yes. What's your YouTube channel right now? This is your shout out. Eternal Gaming. What's the shout out? What is it? Eternal Gaming. Eternal Gaming. Are oh, you a gamer? Eternal underscore. What game do you play? Fortnite? I haven't posted anything. Then you're not no YouTuber. You got to post. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look around. Okay. Exactly. Having some good conversations, man. Yeah, good. It's man. good, good. I'm just looking around. Yo, what's up, bro? Over there? Yeah. You're all crying and everything. So you're not getting a lot of people there. I'm quiet. All right, so now we're going to the actual majlis where people are crying. They're getting emotional. They're hearing the story of Karbala. They're hearing the story of these things. And uh, yeah, look, guys, I know, I know a lot of you are like SQ. Come on, I, I can't believe you did this. I'm unsubscribing. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not concerned about your subs. I'm more concerned about learning. You know what I mean? I, I, I just want you guys to learn. See a different side of the world. People are crying. People are crying and banging their chest a little bit out of emotions. Guys, you know with me, you're not going to get some crazy edits. 
you're not gonna get anything like that. But I will tell you this right now, if you could feel the type of emotions that are taking place right now, you could feel people getting really upset about this and irrespective of what you believe, irrespective of how you personally feel about this, you gotta remember something guys that um, it's significant to them. Not not like this should be significant to all of us, you know, the death of Hassan and Hussein, uh it, should, it is significant to all of us. Um, but you know, they take the time out to explain the story. You're like, SQ, you're becoming a Shia now. Is that what that means? I don't know. I don't know how to inter how you guys interpret this. But clearly, they're very, very upset about it. They're upset about everything that's taking place. You know, people are in the background. You know, they're sitting down. You can't see it because it's dark. But people are over there and they're upset, you know, by everything that's taken away. They're talking about the death, his decapitation, the murder of his child, his infant, and uh, they're very, very upset, you know, and, and you know, and, and sometimes some people might look at it as a drama, they might look at it as a drama, like it's not real, but the truth of the matter is, guys, like, it's important to people, it's important to all of us, and to take out a day for this, so I don't know, maybe I'm just yapping, maybe I'm just like saying, repeating the same thing over and over again. Um, but I'm just reporting to you what I'm finding, guys. This is what I'm finding. You know what I mean? The video title is, I went to a Shia Majlis. I went to a Shia Majlis and this is what I learned and this is what I found out. And, um, guys, it's, it's, you know, sometimes you just gotta speak to someone who's Shia, you know? Asking those questions instead of coming with those assumptions already and having those arguments in the comment section. Where has that gotten us? You know what I mean? Where, where's that really gotten us? The answer is nowhere. That's where it's gotten us. But you know. Yeah, man. Just crazy. Just soaking it all in. Good, good. So, the Muslim court is over. Okay. Now they're going to start doing some lamentation. Yeah. Uh, well, what's that exactly? So, lamentation is basically matam, where okay. we'll uh, recite various poems, okay. uh, recollecting what happened in Karbala. Got you. And then while that's going on, we hit our chest, all, uh, Got you. We hit our chest uh, as a form of mourning to show that we're mourning. Got you. Uh, some people do it lightly, some people do it okay. very hard. That's going to happen right now? So that's about to start right now. As in that area? In that okay, area. I'm about to head over there. So, just come over there, you can uh, we'll do. come right in. We'll do, perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. As you can see, people are starting to hit their chest already. What's that? No, no, I'm, I'm speaking to the camera like, okay. some people are already trying to hit their chest, they're starting to hit their chest already. Yeah. Alright guys, we're about to get the exclusive access. The lighting is going to be trash, but you know, we're going to figure this out. Chitta 
So let me ask you a question. So that's Yah Hussein, right? Yeah. What about like, Hassan? Is Hassan's name going to be anywhere written, or why is uh, Hussein's name more so, than than it is? So that? the reason it's uh, Imam Hussein's name is yeah. because he was the one that was in Karbala. Gotcha. So we're commemorating that particular event where gotcha. he came up against the tyrant. Got it. 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 That's all we're gonna hear right now. Understood. Yeah. Understood. That makes sense. So, That's beautiful. This, this right here with the candles they wrote out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah.
All right, so uh, you guys probably don't know or wouldn't believe where I am right now. I'm in a Shia Majlis right now. I've decided to make a video uh, where I go to the Shia Majlis and I just show you what I've learned. That's it, you know what I mean? Uh, as you can see, there's something over here that have Yahoo Hussein written right there. You're probably going to feel a lot of types of way, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just showing you a different part of uh, life or reality that we're not used to seeing, guys. You know what I mean? We're not used to, we're not used to seeing this. We're not used to seeing this, you know what I mean? So it's important for us to acknowledge other people and what their traditions are. It's not about if I agree with it or not, I'm just trying to show you something different. Uh, stay tuned for the full YouTube video, it's going to be really brilliant. Um, you're in for a surprise, honestly. You're really, really in for a surprise. Okay, now there's uh, a different type of ceremony taking place right now. Making a dua. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. So clearly, a lot of the brothers over here. Salam my bro. Just, uh, just caught everything over here. Uh, what's your my, uh, name if you don't mind? Uh, asking a few questions. What's your name, my bro? Abis. Uh, Abis. Nice to meet you, my bro. How old are you? Mashallah, oh, man. I seen you going in over there. I seen that, that you know you were going in on the on the Jalus stall. Do you mind? Like, are you red? Oh yeah. Uh, probably a little red, bro. We're gonna censor out the nipple. Don't worry, don't worry, my bro. So, so you grew up in a Shia household, correct? How, how was that like? I mean, that's all you know, I'm assuming, but like, uh, do you have like friends who are like Sunni and stuff? Yeah, we have Sunni friends too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do, they, do they judge you or look at you differently? Nah, they're mostly understanding. Yeah, yeah they're mostly understanding. They, uh, they, I mean, for Sunnis, it's the same thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. According to the Prophet's grandson. So. Got you. Got you, got you. So, did you ever feel like shy growing up telling people that you are Shia? No, no we said a pride that we Shia. Got you. Gotcha. So let me ask you this question, right? This is obviously a YouTube video that I'm making to explain to people so that they can understand because these are there's so many misconceptions that people have about Shias and so on and so forth, right? So a lot of people would say, well, maybe you're Shia because you were born into a Shia household. What do you say about that? I mean, I feel like every Muslim has the right to, you know, do their research and whatever they see from, you know, hadiths and whatnot is what they should go over. Sure, man. Sure. Thank you so much for sharing that, my bro. Appreciate you, bro. Wow. What an interesting perspective. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be the flag now? Yeah, this is Okay, so we're gonna get a flag tour right now. Stay tuned, guys. Flag tour explaining what the flag is. I see a lot of people kissing this and touching this. Okay, so tell us more about this, bro. All right, so I am trying to find the front side of it. Gotcha. So I can show you. Okay, uh, I see something. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that say? It says y'all the same. Got you. Right? Yeah, same. In Arabic. Yep. Um, the significance behind the flag, you see this one here, Yeah. you see another one over there, the black one. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's get out of the way. Of the sure, way. sure, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, the significance behind, the significance behind the flag, um, is that in one of the wars uh, yeah. with the Prophet, he, he had the flag of Islam. Got you. And he said that uh, on on the next day, yeah. that I'm going to give this flag to someone that God loves, and God, he loves God. Got it. Uh, someone that I love, and I uh, and they love me. Sure. And someone that's brave and strong, and oh, this, is this. very uh, into religion, and so on and so forth. Got you. So all the Sahabas that were there, they were they're all anxious. Like, yeah. okay, who's, who's it going to be? It? Like, yeah. Is it me? Is it you? Is yeah. It, like, who yeah, is yeah, it? yeah. So the the next day, when time came. He gave it to Imam Ali last night. Gotcha. So Imam Ali had what's the flag of Islam from the Prophet. 
Got it. So from then it got passed on to Imam Hassan yeah. and to Imam Hussein. Got it. So that's what these flags represent. Gotcha. The flag of Islam that the Prophet passed on got to it. Imam Ali last time. Gotcha. So that's what these flags, that's the significance that's of it. That's the significance. Got it. Got it. So got every it, got country got it. has a flag, every nation has a flag. Got it. So for Islam, this is what we have. Gotcha. Now, okay. well, you'll see, for example, I see they're like pulling it out. You can yes, see like, yes, yes. Uh, like a full on view definitely, of it. Definitely, definitely. So. <clears throat> Now, some of them they'll say Yah Hussein, yeah. meaning Oh Hussein, right? Yeah. So remembering the grandson of the Prophet yeah. and the sacrifice that he did, yes. and putting his name on there. That listen, you're the one that kept Islam definitely uh, intact. Otherwise, yeah. it would have gone a completely different direction. Okay. So because of him, we have prayers. Because of him, we have fasting and okay. Hajj and Zakat okay. and everything that we all do. Okay. So that's the significance behind it. So people go and touch it. Um, just out of respect. Out of respect, like hey, you I touched it. the flag of the got Islam, you. right? Got so you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. So it's like, uh, what's I guess the craziest thing that you've seen? So I've seen obviously this, like you've obviously been coming since you were younger. Yeah. What's the craziest thing do you feel like you've ever seen? Um, I don't know. For me, it feels like all like normal because yeah. I grew up in it. So yeah, no, but like, is, there, is there any memory that sticks out more than usual? Um, when I was five years old or so. Okay. Four or five years Taking old. Taking it all the way back. Okay. All the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it really stood out for me. Yeah. And I still remember it. I went to the Bajlis yeah. and I was still young, not really knowing what was going on. Gotcha. And I saw this horse that was dressed up with uh, like flowers and Got it. like seed, all sorts of stuff. Maybe you've Got seen it. it, I don't know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I was like, what's going on with this horse? Whose horse is this? Like, yeah. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and everybody's going up and touching it. And gotcha. like, I just didn't understand what was going on. And I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to be too close. I might yeah. get kicked, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> And then I asked my parents, I'm like, what's going on with that? They explained it to me that what that horse represents is the horse of Imam Hussein that he rode out on to okay. go fight to defend Islam. Okay. So I'm noticing that a lot of things in the Shia culture and tradition is representative and figurative stuff, correct? Yeah. Like even the beating on the chest is very figurative. The black is very figurative, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of imagery is reused within the within your tradition. Yes. Is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so mashallah. It, so the horse is the similar thing. So horse is a similar thing. That yeah. that was the horse that he sat on with. Got and it. Went out and fought to got protect it. Islam, the religion of his grandfather. Got it. Got so it. Got it. Got it. We look at it like, okay, cool. This was the horse. We're gonna respect. Do you, the horse. Do you decorate it? It's just a decoration. It's, a, it's just a decoration. Got like, you. Make, like, you know, just make got it look you. good, right? Got you, no, so, for sure. Uh, just like the flags, you'll see different colors, uh, different writing on it. Got it. Um, and then, like, I think, uh, I don't know if you can't really see it on this one. No, I don't see, I don't see it on this one. But like, there's some they'll say Yah Allah on top. So got just, you. So, okay. Like just different ones. Got you. So let me ask you this, right? A lot of times we see that uh, Shias have tattoos. I'm noticing you have to do. Obviously, I have tattoos myself. Mine comes from a time of Jahadi and stuff like that. Is it is it in your uh, religious beliefs or school of thought that allows you for tattoos? Tell us more about that. So I didn't know that we could have tattoos until last year. Okay. I was under the uh, understanding that we can't have, as Muslims, we can't have okay. tattoos. Okay. But there's actually uh, scholars that actually allow it because they say that it goes underneath your skin. Yeah. So you're still able to do wudu. You definitely so can. it's not interfering with that. If you have gotcha. to do wusul, it doesn't yes, interfere yes, with yes. that. Yes, yes, yes. True, true. And it's not really damaging to your health uh, okay. because it's just like it. Right? Got you. And traditionally, if you go back uh, 400, 500,000 years from now, uh, people used to do like markings on their face. Got you. Based on what tribe they belong to. Got you. Or whatever. And even Got in the you. time of Islam. And it wasn't Got you. told like by the Prophet that you can't do that. Got you. It was just, okay, fine. So, okay, so just, just really quickly, I know, I know uh, this, is, this is not a scholarly question, but just what are your thoughts on this? Because I've read uh, narrations of a hadith where the Messenger saw some curses the one who does the tattooing as well, right? Mm -hmm. Because obviously for me, uh, it comes from a time of jahiliyyah from before. I, I consider it as something like Islamic, from my understanding, very limited, that we are altering the creation of Allah by doing something like this. But it was an interesting thing that you just said right now. Yeah, so with, with Islam, I've actually never heard that, uh, that particularly sure. tattoos, sure. right? Sure, sure. But with Islam, when Islam came, it's, it's not against cultures, right? So okay. whichever culture it is, Gotcha. As long as it doesn't uh, uh, supersede what the religion is saying, okay. it's okay to do within okay. the Islamic. Religion, that, okay, so right? that's why that's where the traditional and the and the, the I guess the school of thought of which allows it within the Shia tradition to get them yeah, done. Oh, that was very interesting. Thing, yeah. Okay, very interesting. And very interesting. To give you a little more perspective on what this says. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in the Let's door. Let's get in the light. Let's over get here. over here in the light, right? Okay. Um, uh, I, I think this side, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe right here. Yeah. yeah. So. That says "Hey Hat Men Al Zulla," okay, right? So loosely translated, uh, it means we will not be humiliated. Yeah, and I know you have something over here. And this one it says "Maraita Allah Jamila," okay, which means that I saw nothing but beauty. Okay. So let me tell you a little background Please. to this. So this yeah. one is what Imam Hussein said 
when he was asked for allegiance, and yes. he said a man like the... Yes, hey, you mentioned that in the car, right? that goes in so the car, yeah. That's what he said, right? Yeah. And then, after the event of Karbala, when they yeah. marched the women and the kids to Damascus, to uh, Syria, yeah. um, in the palace of the ruler, yeah. um, he was playing with Imam Hussain's head. With wow. A stick. Yeah. And the same lips that the Prophet used to kiss, the same head the Prophet used to kiss, yeah. is beheaded, and he's... Yeah sitting there playing That's upsetting. with the stick. It's very upsetting, yeah. And when he's doing that, he says to Zainab, the uh, the, 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 the sister of Imam Hussain, yeah. what do you think of what your God did to your brother? Wow. And she said, I saw nothing but beauty in the sacrifice that he did wow. to stand up for what's right. Wow. So that's, that's what where the significance yeah, of that is. Is I that a very popular beauty. tattoo or quote that people uh, who are Shia would have on their arms? Yeah. So if most people, if you say that, uh, I saw nothing but beauty, they yeah. don't know what you're referring got to. You, got yeah. you. Got you. Got you. Interesting. Okay. So let me ask you this. I know this is a very religious uh, tattoo that you would have. Mm -hmm. So based off of your, I guess, the, the, the traditional Shia beliefs, is it okay to get other types of tattoos too, or does it have to be religious? I think uh, you can get it. I'm not the okay. scholar, so I can't really answer okay, okay, that, okay. But I think you can. Interesting. It's not whether it's religious or not. Interesting. You can, right? Got it, got it. So, Makes, sense. Makes uh, sense. The reason I got these is because it gives me an opportunity to speak with people because they ask what it is. What means. is it? Okay. So starts the conversation start for you. the conversation and then bring them back from Imam Hussein to Interesting, the Prophet, sure. on him, and talk for about sure. you know, for what sure. he's good for. For sure. One thing I do want to say is that uh, I feel I feel like one thing that this is like has taught me that if someone is really, really, really talking trash and crap about Shias and saying all these types of like uh, myths or whatever, give me a second, give me a second. Um, I think I'd be able to correct them and say, you know, that's not really what Shias believe in, you know. So I'm actually really happy the fact that I was able to come out over here and do this um, and, and, and learn a perspective that I never knew before, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not about how I feel about it. It's more about learning the perspective, you know? And so if people were talking about Shias, I think that the same way we would want, the same way I'm trying to educate uh, Islamophobes about Islam so that if someone tries to rag on someone who's wearing the hijab or someone who's laughing on someone for praying or stopping them, they could be like, hey, no, 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 that's what Muslims do and so on and so forth, you know? So I feel like maybe this is something that you guys could apply to. Maybe you guys can see um, to eliminate misconceptions. You know what I mean? You're telling me that if you saw a Shia getting picked on in the street by someone, you wouldn't stop them? You wouldn't help them? You wouldn't protect them? Sure you would. Sure you would. You would. Don't, don't let your differences kill your own humanity. You know what I mean? But yeah. This is it. Look, there's a baby. There's a Shia baby. He's cool. It's a Shia baby. It's a Shia baby. You're cool. <laughs> Someone might get really upset if I said, that's a Shia baby. There's another baby. There's another Shia baby. That's a cool Shia baby. Assalamu alaikum guys. Sound like a cool baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Some of you are gonna get really upset by that statement. I do not mean any disrespect at all. I'm just showing y'all. Cool people, bro. Look at this. Look at this stuff they've done. Just in a setup. They're there waiting for me. I'm just here. Okay, and clean all this up. Yeah, man. We're okay. definitely good. We're definitely good. So Man, thank you, thank you, Ali, for this for this significance. I'm, I'm gonna finish this video and come right back to you guys. I, cool. I, I feel like I have a lot of things I want to get off my chest right, right. now. Go and by that, it. I just mean like, look, guys. I just came to show you what's up. Yeah. I mean, I learned a lot over here. The video title speaks for itself. I came to a Shia Majlis, and uh, this is what happened, or this is what I learned. I don't know what I'm gonna call the title fully, but um, uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy to see this and interesting to just see. Um, different perspectives on people and just to see uh, how people view things and how people see things uh, but just know that in this world that we're in and we're sharing a globe right now you know what I mean and that's floating in the middle of nowhere by the permission of Allah we're all here together and we have to learn to live together with each other there's too many people out here that want our neck they don't care whose neck it is that they're gonna cut as long as it's a Muslim's neck they don't discriminate between the Shias or the Sunnis or I don't know what else, you know what I mean? I'm a layman, I'm a jahil, I don't know much. So please don't take your deen or your religion from me, I'm just a regular dude. But I do have to say this guys, that it, is, it doesn't make sense for you to fight each other in common sections. It just doesn't. It just doesn't, you know? Try to have a conversation with people in real life. How, try to have an educated conversation, not an emotional conversation, an educated conversation. And you know, 
if you have difference of opinions, everything you heard it yourself. They're not crushing the mother believers. They're not doing things like that. Nor am I saying something like that. Um, nor am I saying that you know the Shia's right. Shia's. Right. I'm not saying. I'm just showing you what I've learned tonight, guys. That, that's literally it. So um, this video is going to do a bunch of a few things. See, they're going to stunt my growth. And be like, "Ask you a stuck with Allah. What did you do over here?" Or it's just like you're seeing the creative, artistic side of things, like SQ. Man, this is pretty dope that you came out here, you know? I put all my differences aside, all my opinions aside, and I just came out here to show you guys what a, you know, Majlis is like. So, so far, I hope you guys appreciated this video. I hope you guys benefited from this video as well. Um, yeah, guys, I don't got much else to say. I don't know when I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it soon. It'll be all for the sake of Allah. If you want to watch another one of my videos, it's right over here. If you want to, you know, do other stuff. Click a subscribe, don't unsubscribe, don't really care. Love you all for the sake of Allah. But until next time, I'm out.